Well, Ben and Lourdes, for more than a century, the 6,000-pound Italian marble replica of Michelangelo's La Pieta used to reside in St. Adalbert Church, which is about a mile from where we are. You may remember that St. Adalbert, back in 2019, in a controversial cost-cutting decision, was shuttered. So the removal and the relocation of this religious icon today was painful for many. This was my mother's parish. Anina Jacobkowski grew up on Chicago's 18th Street. The church was built for people, by people, for people, and this it didn't belong to Supich to sell off. <laughs> Jacobkowski and others displeased with Cardinal Blaise Supich and the closure of St. Adalbert's Church at 1650 West 17th Street. On the sidewalk, media on the sidewalk. The faithful praying to stop the removal of a religious icon, an exact replica of Michelangelo's La Pieta, depicting Mary holding the body of her crucified son. Chicago police taking five of the protesters into custody after they appeared to block the removal of the statue, which was loaded up by contractors and driven a mile away to St. Paul's. But this is heartbreaking, this is devastating. I can certainly sympathize with them. I mean, it was really hard for the parishioners. Raul Serrato used to belong to St. Adelbert, but he supports the difficult decision to relocate the statue and the cost-cutting consolidation of what the archdiocese describes as underused parishes. It was in a vacant building, and so our fear was that it would... Uh, we get vandalized. In a written statement, spokespeople for the Archdiocese of Chicago saying, quote, it was the decision of the people of St. Paul Parish, which includes the former St. Adelbert's Parish, to move the statue to their active, vibrant church. But there are other concerns. Many fear the constant encroachment of gentrification here in Pilsen if the St. Adelbert's property falls into the hands of high-end developers. In Pilsen, Julian Cruz, WGN News.